the Swedish winner, Sara Mannheimer, the action. Well done, Sara. Um, one of the benefits of this prize is that it helps give the authors a platform for having their work translated. And I know this is something you're very passionate about. Can you tell us why that is the case? Well, I think there are many reasons, but one is, of course, that I think a translator might be the one who reads your text the most thoroughly that, than anybody, actually. <laughs> and uh, it also evokes, of course, the depth of the language where you can go into one single word and it becomes the history of uh, the world. <laughs> uh, so that's, of course, a fantastic thing. Then also, it's the, when, when you sit here and listen to all the, the winners, just the music of the languages, and to imagine your own music turned into another music, it's also quite a fantastic thing. It's mm. diversity and differences. So it's not to make the same text into another language, it's really to make a different text. And I think that's important when it comes to our situation, the world, whatever, differences. Thank you, that's yes. beautiful. And is there anyone you'd like to say thank you to? Well, I want to thank the whole um, organization <laughs> behind this prize. There are many people involved. It's, it's a great thing. It's a good thing to put effort in the quality literature now. And uh, yeah, the jury in Sweden, of course, mm. all other people. And the translators, the coming and the, the living and everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you very much. One of the things that's most interesting about your novel is that you stretch perceptions of reality. Mm, reality, I think for me reality is a wide, it's a very wide notion. It's not just one thing, one visible or ta tangible thing, tangible thing. But it includes uh, dreams and uh, memories and all kinds of dimensions of life. So in that sense, it's hard to make a division. I mean, I always think of this notion fiction as a strange notion because I look at reality that way. I mean. You're exploring very interesting subjects and exploring reality, uh, but you seem to be able to do this in a very uh, humorous way. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you, how you get so much humor into your stories? I don't know how I do it because I'm not in control of writing. I think why I write in a way it's because I'm both in control and out of control at the same time. It has something to do with the writing actually. But when it comes to humor, it's, uh, I try to work or that's how it comes to me. It's a situation, for example, that uh, I find comical, but uh, usually the, it has to do with cracking up something which would be solid so it's uh, it's it's serious in that way that it's not uh, you go out of a solidity or a, a perfection in a way and you crack it up uh, so i don't know i don't know how i do it or <laughs> there is no technique or anything but uh, it's important to me it's it's really important and it, in a lot of literature i read it humoristic i i found because i, I found find a lot of things humoristic, where other people find it horrifying or something. So it might also have to do with just the way I, I look at things. I, I, I rather get scared when, when I have success, but, but uh, which is maybe a bad thing to say. I mean, I'm, I'm grateful, of course, and it's fantastic to reach people with your writing. I mean, that's really giving something. But I think if it leads to translations, for me that is something very uh, big because it's, uh, it's really letting go of your text completely. You do that first time when you give it to your, in your mother tongue, I mean. But giving it to a translator, it's even more getting out of control of your text. And I like that a lot. I think it's a big part of, of literature in a way. So the book really gets its own life. It's, uh, yeah, that's important. <laughs>